Hi, it's Rosie again, coming back to you today. I wanted to show you these ones um, that I do. All the things that I stamp out, well, almost everything, I keep uh, the negative of it. And um, especially something that I find interesting, like uh, this paper, and um, even just some plain paper, and this is some um, map paper and so on, uh, from a flower book. So I like to keep these things and then, um, well, uh, make some fabric sample uh, slides or whatever you might want to call it. I can use the same fabric or I usually like to um, try and use uh, different uh, ones in each frame. So let me see if I can get this butterfly in this one. And sometimes I'll glue it, and uh, sometimes I'm okay with just uh, sewing right on top of it. My glue fell to the floor. So I'm going to try this one. Just glue it a little bit so that it stays put. And I want to make sure that I can see the butterfly in this one. So, let's see. Um, just barely, a little bit of it. But I still need it over here to be sewn as well. So now I'm going to snip off over here so that I can put another one in there as well. And you can leave fabric hanging out too if you want or just snip it off again. So for the other side, I might use, I don't know, let me see. You can always just see what fits if it doesn't fit if it's too much or you want something a little bit easier uh, not to compete with this one if that uh, piece is uh, very busy in the pattern maybe i'm going to go with this one here which is a little bit yeah so how much of it do i need just about this much here and I don't usually rip it because of all the strands that um, might be left over. Okay, it looks like right on the line is enough. So this one is just going to go like that. Really, um, that one is not important how it fits. But I will put a little bit of glue on it. So that it stays put. Let me see. That will be good. I want a little bit of the other side to show. So I'm going to go just a little bit like this. A little bit of this flower as well on this side. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I will sew around the frames. And if you feel the glue is enough, uh, you could just put the backing then right onto it and sew it. But I'm going to sew right around to make sure that it stays, that it stays put. And I'm going close to the edges. Now the top will be sewn again. So if it's pretty close, I might even leave it. Um, didn't have to sew just yet, but let's go with this one like this. And then I'm just going to leave it and, um, and we're going to put this on top of that. And so again, I can sew right over top of the same stitch, or you can make two lines, which is fine. And um, I could have glued it as well. But it's not really necessary. 
I mean, you could if you like to look better that it's, you know, flat down. We're going to do one uh, glued and we'll see what the difference is. But for me, either one is fine. So that's this one. Here's one I already made earlier. So this is uh, what they would look like. And now we have another one. Now you can sew in the middle, possibly, if you want to. And then uh, make like you know separation in the back as well let's do it on this one and leave it on this one let's see what uh let's put zigzag on that one well you know it's that thread the light thread so i'm not going to use zigzag now i'm going to continue with three stitches going to have three lines in the middle here but oh, that's fine too So you have a line in the back, but it's more flat down. Now, if you have anything coming up, like the corners, I just um, give it a little bit of glue. But for the most part, it's good. So we have two of those. And um, let's see what else I have here. Let's go with a single one. Let's do this one. This one, or what else do I have? I'll have this one as well. Let's do this one as a single one. Oh, look how beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? So, I am going to glue it a little bit in the corners. Okay, that's all we need just to capture here exactly what I want to capture from this fabric. It's very pretty. So now, if you wanted to, you could leave, let's leave just a little bit of that. Around it, I'm just missing it on the bottom here, that's all right. Now these, of course, I'm not going to throw that out. This is always going to go somewhere on strips or clusters, anything else that I have. And uh, the backing, this one is a little bit too small. So I'm going to put that over here. Now also the backing can be anything else. It doesn't have to be per se coffee stained paper. Let me see what I have here. I have this roll. Look how big this is. It's a painter's tape, and I've been using it now for a couple of years, anyways, that I got this. And I still have lots. Also have green. So I could put that one. Where is it? Here it is. On that as well. There. Now, do I want to glue it? Well, maybe let's try. And I like the glue stick on the fabric. It does stay well. Let me see. It's just an extra step, but this paper is uh, quite thin, so anyways, you can use it. You can use the glue to make it a little bit sturdier. Now, of course, once you have sewn over this already, as we did, you don't really even have to sew it again. You could just glue it on the paper and be done with. But let me just... Um, there. That's very pretty as well, and you can still write on it. Um, you know, 
draw on it or whatever it is you want to do but it looks very uh, pretty that one pretty fabric so we use that again uh, what else do we have we have round what should we do with the round let's go with this one for now so i don't want it you know really too big I might uh, snip it some more after, or I might leave it. So this is going to go around, which is, uh, I'm not going to go around because I'm not good at that. I'm just going to still go around it this way, in a square. And um, I'm going to glue it for that because I liked it. So let's give it some glue. Mostly the glue you need in the middle of the fabric. Yeah. And the rest you're just going to sew. you could also give it a little bit of something in a corner it doesn't always have to be plain but because you know there is pattern of the fabric I don't usually put anything more but you could just gonna go this more this way want to get behind it a little bit yeah, so you can see the I don't want to see the paper too much so anyways this one also has a bit of a tab over here what else can we pick out uh, this one has two circles so let's go with one of these Um, I'll put one different one. For this purpose, I'm going to snip that off. And uh, let's see which other one might go with this. I have uh, some of these as well. And if this one is a little bit too much, uh, let me see. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, it could be, right? One contrasting. Okay. And it's kind of perfect size. Okay. So we'll just snip that one off. And we're going to sew right around each one. And because I'm going to sew again, I'm not going to sew this way to get this one. I'm just going to go separate. So that will hold down the fabric. And um, let's put this one. And of course, anytime you have fabric, you get all these threads and sewing as well. Okay, so it's not necessary to go all the way around. I'm going to sew it. Let's see, does it fit this way? Oh, just right this way. So it's going like that. 
and uh, oh, this one wrapped around a little bit. Let me see. Okay. going to leave that. I'm not going to give it a chance. You can always uh, paper clip something to it or staple a tab onto it if you really want a tab on top or wherever. Okay. I got this one. Okay. And uh, Let's see some single ones. Let's see, how about um, one of mine? I know it's not fabric, but I could. This is nice too, isn't it? I was just going to do this one like that. I like it. And in this case, I'm not going to um, put backing because I'm going to use this as backing. And I'm going to, I'm just leaving a little bit of white around it. I like it. And I'm going to ink it, which like I said, I don't do a lot, but I will do it sometimes. Let me see, what do I have? Just so the white is not too, too white. But, you know, amongst everything else, it could be. I like that too. But let's keep going with the fabric ones. What I can do also, for example, is I have these. Mushrooms. Ah, mushrooms. And I could put like half a fabric or something. I could put fabric underneath and then that on top. So I'm going to try that one like that. So what I will do first here is I'm going to sew that. And uh, what do I do with the scissors? So they're there. I'm going to glue it down so that stays put better. And then I will put this on top. Now I might glue it. So I'm going to. Ah! Going everywhere. Just to get that down a little bit better. I mean, I have this piece. I'm not sure what I'm keeping this for. Characterize. I don't know. I could put it here as well. What does it say here? Character. Mm, I could. Why not? Just to get rid of it already. I don't know why I'm keeping character. I guess just in case I need something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So we're now branching into uh, collaging as well. So let's get that down. First right around the inner edge. So crosswise, but I also want to go this way. So there we go. 
I don't need a lot of white on this one. I'm going to leave uh, some fabric. Let me see. Uh, I want it a little bit longer than the paper. I could leave the paper. I mean, really. doesn't matter much. But I will snip some of it anyways. Okay. So this is left hanging on the bottom. And if you want to fray the edges a little bit. There. That's very pretty. So I could, uh, again, now I sewn on both. So now if this isn't, now to me this is more like it's not finished. So I might put still another one. Or I might just glue it on. Because if I sew again, I think it might be too much. So what I'm going to do is just uh, glue on the backing for this one. And I'm going to use Fabric Tech for this one. Just to make sure that it stays. Because it has all this sewing in the back. Okay. And I'll leave my uh, stick glue uh, open a lot. I know that's not good. I'm letting it dry out. Okay, so it's just a little bit better as far as for writing. When you want to do your writing on it. Okay. There, so these are the mushrooms. I think it's good. Okay. So I do like a quality test right away too. And uh, let's do one more. What do we have here? Different. Oh, I have a lot of these, so let's go with this one. What was this one? This one was just plain. Yeah, let's try that one to see how it looks. Where's the more writing on this side? Let's try that. What do I want to put on it? Um, what haven't I used yet? Anything? I used that. Oops. Uh, can I put a hole? Just a little bit small. Is this one just a little bit small too? Uh, no, yeah. Well. Yeah, it's a little bit small also. So these are for the squares. Let's do this one. Like that. Okay. Now if you if you want to put something else on it too, you could again. Uh, just because I have a lot of sparkle hanging around. Let's put this one on it. I don't have to put a backing on everything because some of it uh, you might just uh, glue on a on a page, right? So if you have a journal, and for example, I'll be working on this little one here um, that I made the cover for yesterday. I had it sitting around, like cut out, and the pages uh, a long time ago. And I have my mom's um, uh, glue on it, so I'm going to have to work on that to get that off. My mom's uh, crochet on it, and it has pockets in front and back, so that's not ready yet. But, let's see, there's a pocket here. Now, I'm not doing a uh, journal flip through, but you could uh, just either paper clip it or glue it right down. So it doesn't always have to be a backing on it. It can just be, you know, uh, this way, left for gluing. And I do have look um, this this one here. I think it, are they sunflowers or are they mums? I'm not sure exactly, but they are very pretty. Black eyed Susans. I don't know, but uh, I did put it in here as well for this journal because it fit right into. I guess it's some sort of maybe like a fall theme for this one. And I made a little bit different closure. Uh, this goes on top to hold it down, and then. The closure goes this way. I know we're off topic right now, but just for a minute. 
there. I want to do some some kind of different closure. So when you do that, you have to make sure that you don't sew all the way around with the fabric. You have to stop at sort of certain points. So anyways, I'm going to be working on that later. And um, let's see for this one, if we can do one more, would be good. Is this big enough? Oh, this way. I can use this one again. Yes. Okay, I'll use that one. Let's put glue on that. I'm going to use this one because it's... The paper is a little bit more like softer, so I don't want to be rubbing the glue stick on it because it'll probably just break it off. So we're going to put this one for the subtle one. I kind of like that edge, I might leave it. this none of this goes in the garbage that's how you end up you know with a lot of stuff I will see it what, what I want to do about that do I want to um, glue it or do I want to leave it I mean sew it and so on the other side I can put something more and uh, this one's too much for that those are also um this one did i say it was uh, let me see i could put that one there and unless i want to what else do i have here with this one mm, not really what this one could be that. You know what? I'm gonna go with the yellow. I think I don't, I'm not sure if I used it yet, so I'm gonna go with the yellow on that one. Okay. Let's see if we can fit it. put glue on this side? No. I know I'm going to sew it, but just to make sure, because it's so close to on not fitting, I'm going to put glue just so it stays. Let's see. Okay. Let's get that down. A little bit too close. I'm gonna leave the top because I am going to, because it's close to the top, I'm going to sew there. So I'm gonna go this way. Now, what do I want to put on the back? I think uh, maybe the farmer paper. I'm going to have to dig into a new sheet here. And what I could do with this one, let me see. I could make a pocket in the back, so what I'll do is, okay, I'm going to glue that. And then I'm going to cut the pocket. 
Okay, and the pocket's gonna be, I don't know, some kind of words. Some kind of words. Let's go with this one here. Here. This could be used for another uh, tag. I could, I like to just show that this is an edge. So let me see if I have ink on this. Yes. So we'll just ink it a little bit. No. Cricket, 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 cricket. Oh my god, I guess. Okay. And I'm gonna sew the outer edge. at the edge because I'm not sure about the size of the pocket. Let's see what happened. I like some strands, just not too, too much. Oh, see here? Just cut. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Weepy willow, grasshopper. So we're okay as far as the words on this. So this one uh, we made into a pocket. So you can actually still add uh, some more, you know, things to it. Let's add this. This, that, and the other. What else do I have? I have a bunch of stuff. Um, let's just put a hole into this. A little bit of a map. And, uh, oops. And what else do I have here? I have some circles. What do I have in a circle? I guess you can uh, actually write on them, so that's fine. Okay, let's leave that. So we also have a little pocket here. So let me see, what do we make here? Of course, I have lots more to go here. And, uh, okay, so we made the pocket one. This one, we made a single square, some mushrooms doubles, a single, and this beautiful single as well, and more of the reddish ones. So I appreciate you coming by again um, to check out uh, what's new on my channel and uh, watching this video. It's uh, Have a great day. It's Rosie and Rosmaninko. Bye-bye.